This story coming out of California, I'm telling you guys, there has been a wave, and this is not even scratching the surface. There's a ton of stories coming out about teachers. There are old teachers, young teachers, white teachers, black teachers, uh, different ethnicities of people who are accused of doing things sexually to children. I'm not sure what's going on. And, and where this is coming about. But nonetheless, we're going to report about it. We're going to expose these clowns. Let's talk about this. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And I'm getting this information from lawandcrime.com, one of my favorite sources. So thank you very much. Let me get her face back up on the screen. This is a young, old face looking teacher. A California teacher who admittedly sexually assaulted one of her eighth grade students. So that means that this student is roughly around the age of 13 years old, eighth grader, 13 to 14 years old. Keep that in mind. She admittedly sexually assaulted one of her eighth grade students the day he graduated from junior high middle school and has been sentenced to spend the next four years in prison. I don't even have to read no more of the story. I'm going to say that again. She became sexual with a child and got four years in prison. Let me give y'all a wild example. Let me give y'all a wild example. Let's just say in my state of Texas, the age of consent, I believe here is like 18, excuse me, 17, I believe. I know it's 16 in Oklahoma, which is weird to me, but there's a lot of states that have 16. Let's just say, let's just say it's 17. If I talk to a girl and had sex, consensual sex with a girl that was 16 years old in my state, guess what? You think they're going to give me four years? How much time do y'all think they're going to give my black ass? For less than a 12-month difference in age before you become legal. How much do you think? Let's just say even if, if, if the girl were four or five months before she turned 17 and it's technically illegal, how much time do you think I would get in prison. You think they're going to give me four years? My face be all over the news. I'd be dragged from Timbuktu across the earth. This man is a pedophile. He's this. He's that. Hide your kids. Sex sexual offender. All of that stuff, all, all, everything that goes with that, exposing people who take advantage of children. And I believe that people who do take advantage of children should be dragged. How much time in prison should you get for that? I'd say at least 25 years. Who's going to be scared of four years in prison if they're pedophiles, if they're sexual predators against children? It's going like the laws have to be set in a way, California, just so y'all understand here in Texas, the laws are a lot more stricter. OK. In order. In order for people to understand the severity of a crime, you have to make an example out of asshole lawbreakers like this. She's not going to learn nothing in four years. Hell, in less than four years, she'll probably get out and probably still be able to get back with her husband with some sad sob story about how this little eighth grade boy seduced her. 
I ain't even read the rest of the damn story. This woman is 46 years old. She'll be out before she's 50. Her name is Michelle Christine Solis, S-O-L-I-S, and I'm glad her face is out there so y'all know exactly what she looks like. She changed her not guilty plea to a guilty plea on one count of sex with a minor, according to a B-U-T-T-E, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, I don't even like to say the word, county district attorney's office. On Thursday, she was belatedly sentenced by the county superior court judge michael deems sentencing in this case in, in the case had been originally slated for june 6th at the time of the incident solace was the boy's teacher so she's his administrator so she's in a position of power there should be additional charges tacked on to that right the boy's teacher at Sycamore Junior High School in, in uh, Gridley, a small northern California town some 56 miles north of Sacramento. And thank you to those who are showing some love by way of my birthday. I'm getting old, so thank you. Thank you very much. In the weeks before his eighth grade graduation, the since-condemned woman friended the boy on Instagram and began messaging him. So she... Uh, approached him evidence provided by the state showed that the teacher sent the child four explicit photographs of herself then on the day the boy graduated the two engaged in sexual intercourse in her classroom according to a recent press release let me say that again in her classroom on school ground in California, y'all only gave her a slap on the wrist four years, really? You know how much time you can get in prison for dealing drugs within a certain distance of a school grounds? I think it's like, what, uh, like a thousand feet of a school? If you're a registered sex offender, you know you can't be, in, uh, depending on what sentence they give you, you can't be within certain feet of a school or you could be arrested. You know that if you were a pimp and you were pimping and pandering within a certain distance of a school, you know you can get a bunch of years in prison for that too? And that's within the, the range of a school. She did this on school grounds, in school, in the classroom. Where people have to come, oh my God, that's... Uh, about to lose my about to lose my stomach thinking about this. These children have to enter into the classroom. I need to be careful with my choice of words. They enter into the classroom and sit at these desk tables and chairs. Where do y'all think they had sex at? Then these children probably s smelled it, sat in it, whatever. It's disgusting. The teacher made sure to lock the door of her classroom, prosecutors allege in an earlier press release about the case. In California, the reason why I'm bringing this up because I think y'all got the sentence wrong, very wrong. Rumors and copies of the photos began to circulate in the gritty community in October 2023, the DA's office said. A gritty police investigation ensued, and investigators, probably because the boy sent it out to all his friends. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know that, though. And investigators contacted the boy and reviewed the contents of his phone. They found communication between Silas and the boy, including two explicit photographs of Silas that matched the description the boy previously provided. Silas was arrested and she immediately made bail on a $15,000 bond. You know, I think that there are people that were doing like 10 years for having marijuana in California. Ten years for marijuana. This woman sexually assaulted somebody's baby. And they gave her a fifteen thousand dollar bond, fifteen hundred bucks. Ten percent to the bail bondsman, and you're right out. 
She's been free pending her sentencing until June 20, 27th when the defense requested an additional continuance of the punishment phase. In the interim, community members in Gridley were incensed that Silas had the uh, ter ter temerity, the temerity, I never heard of that word. They, you, that's how you know they was mad when they started coming up with words you didn't even know was in the, in the, in the dictionary. Temerity means unreasonable or foolhardy contempt or danger or opposition. Rashness, recklessness, a rash or reckless act. I did not know that. Learn something new every day. She had to, or like Stephen A. Smith says, she had the unmitigated gall to show up at a Little League game, sounds like a baseball game, while out on bail. Let me say this again for those who have never heard me say this. People who sexually assault children cannot be rehabilitated. It can't be fixed. You can't give them a pill. You can't beat it out of them. They just never need to be in our society ever again. They don't learn. They will never change and they will never get better. Okay. They're, so the community is mad because they said she had the unmitigated goal to show up at a little league baseball game from what I'm assuming while she was out on bail. Let's see, where else would you expect a pedophile to show up? Probably at a, at a children's function, right? That sounds about right. I'd expect them to, to see some child predators at Chuck E. Cheese, at, the, at a school baseball game, soccer game, at the swimming pool, places where children are. That's what I would expect. Outraged parents posted an anti-pedo sign on chain link fences in protest. I think y'all could have did better than that, but I'm not going to encourage you to do anything against the law. Okay. Now, during the sentencing hearing, the woman's attorney tried, tried unsuccessfully to obtain a much lighter punishment, asking the judge for probation. You're going to give this woman probation for sexually assaulting a child, really? He wanted her to get probation. The defense attorney described the crime act between the teacher and student as just one act. You know what? Her defense attorney needs his ass whooped. I'm not, I'm not saying anybody should do it. I'm saying that as a figure of speech, he needs a proverbial foot up his behind. It's just one act. Yes, against a child who can't speak for himself or defend himself against the tyranny of his own damn teacher. Prosecutors fiercely contested that characterization. The district attorney's office argued for the maximum sentence and received it. After citing the nearly 30-year age gap between the defendant and the victim, Solace's position as a trusted community member and a pattern of conduct that amounted to grooming. Prosecutors also pointed out that the teacher, Silas, gave the boy special treatment in school. I'm sure she did. That the pair made numerous social media contacts before things were all said and done. And that the teacher asked the child to delete their communications and the photographs she sent him. Silas will now be required to register as a sex offender and must stay away from the victim for 10 years, the court ruled. Well, what about... Stay away from school, stay away from children. No, none of that. Okay, four years, I guess. Let me give you guys a fair usage and then we'll go from there. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I, I need you guys to do me a favor and I need y'all to let me know what you guys think about this. Please leave a comment. This will be a great time to do it. Hit that thumbs up. Let's get this thing. Let's get it. Please hit that thumbs up.
There we go. If I can get there. Not guilty. That's what former Gridley teacher Michelle Solis pled today. She's charged with having sex with a minor and giving explicit pictures to a minor as well. Action News Network reporter Margot Rowe was in court for the plea. About two dozen people were inside the courtroom Friday morning, and Michelle Solis and her attorney sat at the defense table ready to enter a plea. Now, Action News Now did request permission to record inside the courtroom, and while we weren't granted permission to shoot video, we were granted permission to record audio. When asked how she pleaded, Solis's lawyer said, I'm comfortable entering a plea, of course, comfortable with that. We know that, that was fine. Not guilty pleas now, meaning all special allegations. I caught up with Solis and her lawyer after court. Ms. Elise, can I ask you a few questions? Is it true you had sex with a minor? You'll stop harassing my client. I just need her to answer my questions. No, you don't. Is it true you distributed pornographic images to a minor? Harassing my client is not good journalism. And being Harassing rude does not make client. you effective. Is it true you distributed pornographic images to a minor? Ms. Solis, shoot that man working for his damn money. The minor, Ms. Solis, he big man. Look at fat boy defending his money. I see you. I see you, biggin. So, I'll see you soon, and we will talk later. You're very welcome. Can you answer any questions about your client's charges? At this point, we haven't received any of the police reports. I anticipate this will be a lengthy investigation, but at this point, I can't make any comment about the particulars. Thank you. Solis faces two felony charges, the first one being having unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, the second distributing pornographic images to a minor. Reporting in Orville, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Solis's preliminary hearing is scheduled for January 25th, but today in court she signed a 977 waiver, which means her counsel will represent her that day and she won't have to attend in person. Little League parents say they're outraged after learning Michelle Solis, the teacher, uh, recently pleaded no contest to having sex with one of her 8th grade students, is attending... Just thought about that. That, uh, that defense attorney, hell, he could have been a good lineman the way he was sitting there blocking people. <laughs> Shoot, they need to give him a job plan for the Dallas Cowboys. James in Gridley. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper shows us how the league is handling it. We've been getting emails and phone calls from parents who are appalled that Michelle Solis attended a Little League baseball game here in Gridley the same day she pleaded no contest to having sex with her 14-year-old student and sending him explicit pictures. Parents have been putting up posters at the games saying no pedos allowed, move out of our town, and our kids deserve to be protected. I've spoken with several parents who don't want to be identified, but they tell me they've seen Solis at at least two games just this week. A parent says Solis does have two sons who play in the Little League, one of them the age of the boy she's now convicted of having sex with. I reached out to the president of the Gridley Little League Association for comment. So far, he has not gotten back to me, but parents have told me the president asked Solis to stay in her car. Parents tell me they are furious that Solis is still allowed to be around children at this point. They tell me she acts as if she is above the law and that she doesn't deserve to be. Even if, look, why would you even, like, knowing what you're accused of, why would you even want to go to this Little League game? How do you explain that? You're just being a jerk intentionally. Out here to support her own children when she's harmed someone else's child. Butte County Bro says she went window shopping. That's what it sounds like to me. County District Attorney Mike Ramsey says at this point, there's nothing that can legally stop Solis from attending. There's nothing that prevents her from uh, attending any Little League games until such time 
as she sentenced, and the judge has to make those consequences. And that's why I think that people like this cannot be rehabilitated. And that's why I think that they need a life sentence. Even her, she actually went through with the act. It don't sound like there's no denying that. The judge may decide she is not a danger to children other than 14-year-old boys. Ramsey says any restrictions <sighs> would come after her sentencing in June. They said that she's not a danger except to that 14-year-old boy. Lord have mercy. Mm. No, she don't want sex with all kids. She just wanted sex with just that one kid. Got it. Good job, California. She's before a very good judge that will give due consideration. Judge Lucina, who is a former child abuse prosecutor in this office. Parents tell me it feels like Solis has found a loophole in the system and that her presence around any child is shameful and disgusting, regardless of her connection to the Little League Association. Solis's sentencing is June 6th. I'm Lauren Cooper. Linda, Solis is facing four years max in state prison, and she also has to register as a sex offender for 10 years. Now, Michelle Solis was arrested back in November last year for suspicion of having sex with a student. In April, she pleaded no contest to having sex with her eighth grade student in 2021 in her classroom on the day of his promotion ceremony. Now, the defense argued for probation, but the court denied it for several reasons. school year and the defendant took advantage of a position of trust or confidence. In mitigation, the defendant has no prior record of criminal conduct. Therefore, for the foregoing reasons, for violation of Penal Code Section 261.5, Prim D, as charged in Count 1, the defendant is sentenced to state prison for a total aggregate sentence of four years. In addition to the four-year sentence and registering as a sex offender, the protective order for the victim against Solis has also been extended for 10 years. And several community members I spoke with who have been following this case like I have, who have been at the sentencing, which has been delayed twice prior, say they were, many. some of them were glad that the sentencing was, that she did receive the max sentence, but wish the sentence was longer. But many say that this series of events involving Solis has hurt the Gridley community. Reporting live in Orville, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. All right, thank you, Margot. So I think you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I have this right. I believe that there have been people languishing in the California prison system for marijuana for longer. They've spent longer in prison, not jail, prison. They've been in prison longer for marijuana than this woman is for sexually assaulting children. Very young, very feeble-minded, very underage, very unable to make a decision like that on their own. Flip this situation around and make it a man and people would have, let a man do this. So if we want to treat men and we, women equal in this country, then why is it that we always handle women with kid gloves? And I think women ought to step up and, and, and literally be the ones speaking the loudest against stuff like this. California, I think y'all got this wrong. Four years maximum. Get the hell out of here. She got to register for 10 years. That means nothing. She's going to be out and have more opportunities to do this all over again. And I wouldn't be surprised. This is just who she is. So this man made a horrible choice in marrying this whore and making babies with her because this is who she is. She's a terrible, horrible human. And uh, yeah, I just think that she never needs to see the light of day again. But thank you guys so much for listening to this story. Leave a comment in the comment section, okay? Thank you.